I was a fruit. Um, I would be a banana, and the reason behind it, or certain parallels, might be um, if peeled correctly, I'm very convenient <laughs> and approachable. <laughs> um, but I'm also oddly shaped. I do have a natural body curve that sort of slants to one side. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all the comparison. That's all. The <laughs> that's a really good answer. To the <laughs> it's always hard because um, to you it just seems like the natural progression. To me, it seems like the natural progression. Um, and it isn't until you bring it to someone else, you're like, oh, this sounds, I hate to be more mature or more poppy or something. Um, so it's hard to evaluate it when, you, when you're so close to it, saying, we made a conscious effort to make it more mature or take this direction. Um, it just seemed like the natural direction to go in for us. And we've always tried to be very direct in our early days. Directness meant the songs were barely over two minutes because that's what we, we felt was direct. You know, it doesn't need a second verse. It's got one chorus that's good and put it out there. Um, and now we're a little bit more comfortable with song lengths and having choruses that you know, there's a third chorus or a fourth chorus. Even. Um, we're not opposed to that anymore, but we still like songs to be direct and to be as simple as they can be and get the meaning across without trying to weigh them down with unnecessary instrumental breakdowns or any any sort of filler. Born in 1988. It was it was sort of just put together. Um, it was a happy accident that three songs worked together. We had um, Argentina first and we sort of um, we knew that was a good place to start for the record as soon as we finished that song. We knew that was going to be a keystone in finding other sounds or other songs. That was going to be our, our our sort of baseline for the rest of the album. And then uh, Dave had another song, See It Clear, that is the, the third part of Argentina. And uh, so we were working on that one in the background, and one day he just came in and said, hey, I have this other little thing that's not quite a song, it doesn't really, you know, it's not going to have the length of a full song, so I think it'll be about a minute, and it fits right after Argentina and it changes keys, or it, it allows the key change to happen before see it clear, and then we had these three parts that naturally kind of flow together, and then we started working on them as one whole song. You definitely know when that feeling, when that happens, when, when some things come together by chance, or uh, you, know, you start jamming an idea that has come in, oh, that's a cool idea, let's try to put some stuff on it, and then there's that feeling that just kind of feels like this magic gelling of four people in a room. And uh, I know it's happened a few times and you're always, you're always chasing this feeling, but when you just start playing and you look at each other and you just kind of smile and you know that you're on the right track, maybe it's not all the way there yet, but you can always feel when you have, when you've, uh, you've identified the correct DNA of that song. Once you've done that, then it's easy. Then it's just, okay, what is, what is this song want? What is the point that we're trying to get across? And, um, yeah, as soon as that happens, it's, then, then, then the hard work's done, the fun work starts. Personally, uh, no, I mean, I'm, it seems like a question that I'm sure, lyrically, there's probably a better answer to that than, than what I can give. Um, but, you know, with this album, I mean, I guess it's sort of like sort of before we just got really comfortable with writing direct pop songs um, and not, not trying to get, get fancy or get distracted with things that didn't need to be there. So, I think on this album, all we're trying to do is, is present these songs that we all love in a way that's, that's, that serves the song best, that serves the song first, and what the song's trying to get across. We had it booked, um, I can't specify the say, but yeah, it's later later in the year, and then um, 
that'll be our first show in Toronto for this for this record, and then we're doing uh, we're hopefully planning on doing our, our Christmas shows again, which we did for a couple years and then took last year off, uh, and that will happen hopefully December, late November ish.